Hey everyone, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com. And today we're going to be talking about the new flagship product from Signia called Signia IX. It replaces the former flagship product, which went under the AX name. I've been wearing the product for the last couple of days. I'm gonna talk you through my experience, the app, what I'm noticing, what I like, and some of what I wish was a little bit different. So let's get into it. So before we talk about this new product, let's zoom out for a second and talk about who Signia is. If you're just getting started in the world of hearing health, it's important to know that Signia sits in the prescription set. Uh, it's comparable to Resound Nexia or Phonak Lumity or Starkey's Genesis product. It is a product that is fit by a professional. They have software where they'll fine tune it to your exact hearing loss, and then you get that product and you'll be able to make some adjustments via an app. It's very different than an over-the-counter product where you'd be doing all that programming yourself. It's also a premium product, meaning that the price is typically going to be somewhere between four and $8,000 for a pair of hearing aids. We have a whole video on pricing, which I'll link somewhere up here, and you can take a look at that if you're trying to learn more. All right, let's talk about what's new from Signia. So the first thing to know is that Signia has released a new operating system. Basically, that means the chip inside of their hearing aids is a new chip. It's processing sound in new ways. So we'll spend a lot of time talking about what those updates are and what Signia is promising for hearing aid wearers. The second important update is that the new iX platform includes a rechargeable in-the-ear device that will replace the non-rechargeable Signia Silk from previous generations. This is an exciting update for anyone who wants an in-the-ear device that's nearly invisible and also rechargeable. It's definitely a breakthrough through product on the market in that way. The third is that this product has AuraCast capability. And there's a little bit of nuance here because AuraCast is really not broadly available in the world around us. AuraCast more or less allows you to stream audio from public venues and public spaces directly into your hearing aids. We expect this will roll out more substantially over the next two to three years, but it's cool to see that Signia is already building that technology into their products. Apparently, you'll need a firmware update at the time when AuraCast comes out more fully. So you'll go to your hearing professional, they'll do a firmware update, and you'll be good to go to tap into these AuraCast experiences. So those are really the big three things that are new with the Signia IX release. For the Signia fans out there, it's important to note that there's a whole lot that will stay the same about this product. In fact, the product itself looks identical. The flagship Charge and Go looks literally identical next to my old 7AX product. Um, the, the form factor has not changed at all. Similarly, the charger has not changed at all. It uses the same port-based charging, carries a long charge at 35 plus hours per charge. You're not really going to run out of battery with this product if you put it back in its case reasonably often. The iX hearing aids also will maintain the same Bluetooth streaming capabilities, at least in the short term, and that is that they'll stream through iPhones with hands-free calling. You can also stream through Android using the ASHA protocol. So these are fully rechargeable and Bluetooth enabled hearing aids. One other thing I love about the Signia devices is that they're extremely small. These are some of the smallest products on the market. They sit comfortably behind the ear and leave lots of room for glasses and are just not very visible. The other thing I love about Signia's products is the Signia app. And there are a few features that are noteworthy within the app. Of course, you have the ability to adjust volume. You have the ability to adjust the sound quality from crisp to more bass sounds. There are a couple of advanced features that I love. One is that you can manage the directionality of these hearing aids. So you can have it focus more in the front or focus 360 or go into automatic where it will just sense the sound that feels most important. One thing that's really unique about the Signia app is that you can use what's called the Signia Assistant. The Assistant basically lets you chat with the app about things that you want to change about your sound quality. So for example, when I first put on these hearing aids, I felt like the sound was a little bit crisp and I was getting more air conditioning and ambient sound than I wanted to. And that's normal for me because I have good high frequency hearing since I have a cookie bite and I miss mostly frequencies in the middle. So I chatted with the Signia assistant and I asked it to manage those types of sounds and I could hear it making active changes 
And then it said, do you want to save the changes? I said, yes. And moving forward, I didn't hear that kind of humming and the, the higher pitch sounds around me. I love the simplicity of this feature. Now you technically can do those same things in the, the dials within the app, but the assistant makes it a little bit more interactive. And to me, it felt simpler. All right, now that we've talked about this Signia product more generally, let's get specific on what's new within the iX platform. And the key is really in the name integrated experience. This is really the most exciting part of the new launch, and it's that Signia is trying to improve the ability to listen to multiple conversations at the same time. And if you're a hearing aid wearer, you know that's a big deal because sometimes if you're focused on a conversation here and someone starts speaking to your left or to your right, you can feel a little bit disoriented. So the new iX platform does a lot more work to sense and scan the environment, bring down background noise, and then isolate where the conversations are happening. Interestingly, the platform also tracks those conversations as they move. So if someone's walking in front of you, it will move that person into your, your front field or your left field, and it's basically tracking that conversation in real time. I love that Signe is working on this and thinking about how to make the hearing aid listening experience more and more natural and handle more and more complex situations. Now, is the iX technology a world better than the AX technology, which was in the previous generation? Simple answer is not necessarily. I can notice a little bit of difference, but it's not a game changer. So if you have the 7AX product today and you like it and you feel like it's performing well for you, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you jump to iX right away. What I will say is that I love that Signia is pushing the boundaries and trying to make this product better every generation that passes. I especially love that they're investing in that kind of natural soundscape that helps folks manage more and more complex environments. So where does the new Signia iX platform stand on the overall market? I would say this is easily one of the best hearing aids on the market at this time. If you look strictly at that premium set, which includes brands like Phonak and Resound and Starkey, Widex, Oticon, I love Signia's sound processing. I find that they do a great job in background noise and they give plenty of customizations to your hearing health professional. One of the things I especially love is that the case feels really modern. It's very small, it's easy to carry with me and that the product itself is incredibly small behind my ear, really one of the smallest on the market. So really, is this the best hearing aid? I don't know. It probably depends on your taste and your interest, but this certainly is among the best. It's very competitive with anything on the market. So what are the drawbacks to this product? The first drawback is just the price. If you are looking for something that's more affordable, you're going to have a hard time finding Signia hearing aids for less than a few thousand dollars. The other things are pretty minor. One is that you don't have a Find My Hearing Aid option within the app. So many other leading technologies, you can basically hit Find My Hearing Aids in the app and it'll help you scan the room or scan your property to find your hearing aid. Signia doesn't have that feature, so that's one drawback. They also have less colors than some other manufacturers, but Again, a very minor thing. If you're looking for new hearing aids or if you are a Signia fan and you're wondering if this hearing aid is good and worth upgrading to, this is one of the best products that you're going to find. I personally love wearing it, wear it regularly, and I've found the review of the new iX platform really impressive so far. So I hope this video has been helpful and I wish you the best in your search.